happened to me the other day. I broke my um, ankle in three places and um, for the last few weeks I've had this um, cast at work, a, a couple of different casts on um, whilst the, the ankle is healing. Um, everything's healing pretty well. Um, you see there with my toes and stuff, full movement and stuff's come back and stuff and there is movement in my ankle and stuff but it's in the cast so um, you obviously can't see full movement. Um, what that has meant is that I've um, been sort of stuck at home for the last few weeks and um, sort of progressively getting bored and bored and having to elevate my my um, foot all the time just to, to help the healing process. Um, but say so this, this is the latest cast I've got on. I only had this on a, um, midway through last week I put on. Um, so basically I've got a little bit more movement back in, getting a bit more used to the crutches and so on. Um, getting a bit more used to sort of having my um, foot down uh, rather than being elevated all the time as well. Um, which has basically given me an opportunity to um, actually um, put some paint onto some models that I've been doing. Um, so I'm going to stop the video here and then I'm going to show you sort of progress of um, what I've been doing recently. Alright, see you later guys. Also of note is um, since the last time I did a video I um, totally rearranged my sort of study room as well um, and did be done the flooring, put some um, timber timber flooring down and so on, and sort of rearranged rearranged the room. Um, relocated my um, display cabinet into this room, um, and sort of tidied up the books and bits and pieces um, around the place. You can see some some sort of uh, dark imperial models on the on the uh, sides and stuff there as well. So I'll be moving around to those doing those, um, sort of tidying up, so I thought I'll give you a quick rundown of the room first. Um, also got some, yeah, say sort of um, tidied up the desk a bit, I can see the crutches going on. Um, if I moved a bit in here, I'm just on a chair at the moment, it's probably also it's easier to move around. Um, so basically, sort of um, workstation area, um, I'm going to paint some stuff set up on, on this area yet. Yeah, it's on the, the other other box. Um, but basically that's my um my bit box or bit boxes uh, for the bits and pieces and stuff on those and then got the um the mat and stuff on there kicking around. Um so and that's all the um Nurgle stuff off the um uh, Dark Imperial stuff as well. So I'm hoping to put some paint on those and stuff um reads me soon. Um so I'm going to quickly you can see some of the um, uh, Primaris Marines um, from Dark, Dark, um, Dark Imperial as well, and I've also managed to get hold of a um, uh, Redemptor Dreadnought as well. So they're uh, pretty, pretty good and pretty damn big. Um, so that's pretty cool. And um, up there's some more uh, Primaris Marines up there with a special edition uh, Primaris uh, Captain as well in this guy here. That's pretty cool. Um, yeah, so it's quite a lot of models there, a lot of grey models. Um, so hopefully I'll be able to put on some paint on those reasonably soon. Um, so essentially this is a Death Watch um, update video. And um, I think I've shown you these guys before. Uh, so my finished Death Watch, uh, Death Watch Captain, uh, Watch Captain, um, converted from a Blood Angel um, Terminator model. Uh, I'm pretty happy with the way they, that guy came out. Uh, and then, sort of, first five man part of a um, Death Watch uh, squad there with uh, all the power armor and bits and pieces on those there. So, um, that's basically the last place I left you guys in terms of the Death Watch is, is these five guys um, fully sort of done up and ready to go. And so, basically, what I've done for the last few days is managed to finish off um, the Terminators that would go with this particular squad. Um, and these are all based off um, Grey Knight, 
great night models, but I thought they work out really well as Death Watch um, sort of Black Shields, Death Watch Terminators um, through there. So they're they're all basically painted roughly the same in terms of um, sort of just black, black with uh, obviously the Death Watch silver bits and pieces on there and bits of um, object gold and stuff kicking around um, here and there, um, along with the um, sort of the red red eyes as well so um, basically they're all roughly the same um, because they're all death uh, because they're all sort of um, black shields so they obviously don't have chapter markings or anything like that on them so essentially they are sort of uh, to focus um, they're basically essentially sort of um, grey knight terminator so I've sort of plain, painted black picked up the accent grey colours on, on, on the, the writing and stuff on those and then sort of done the silver um, on the shoulder pads and gold accent here and there bits and pieces uh, which I think works really well um, haven't managed to base these guys yet and I'm hoping to be able to do that at some stage uh, but just wanted to show you guys essentially where I sort of uh, got to really um, this is sort of the Terminator sergeant but um, you don't really have a, a sergeant if you if you combine them with a ten man ten man squad. So he's basically just a normal normal trooper. But if I wanted to, I could always um, separate it out into a terminator squad. That's this guy here. So he's basically just made from leftover parts from uh, Grey Knight Grey Knight Terminator kits and so on. Uh, just mixed in with other bits and pieces to sort of add in. Um, to uniqueness to the squad, um, bits and pieces like using uh, heavy flamers, yeah, heavy weapon, uh, rather than the great knights for the psychic weapons and so on. Um, yeah, so basically, that's where we, we stand at the moment, really. Um, so sort of, um, that's my first ten man um, Death Watch team um, that I put together with the Watch Captain, and I'm hoping to. Get a little bit further with um, some more Death Watch as well before I start moving on to other bits and pieces. Um, so, hope you enjoyed that. Um, hopefully, there'll be a few more videos coming up, up reasonably soon. Um, so, uh, please like um, and comment. And if you enjoy these videos, um, please consider subscribing as well. Thanks a lot. <laughs>